Good morning, Facebook. Hope everyone's having a good day. Happy Friday. Good morning. Happy Friday. What's going on, Facebook? I appreciate you guys watching my live videos. I hope these are helpful. I'll jump right into it. My name is Zach Pascarello. I am a bookkeeper and a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Reach out if you need any help with your QuickBooks or your taxes. We are happy to help. With that, I wanted to talk about billable expenses. So this happens most frequently with my real estate clients, my project managers, my investors, and it most recently happened with my wife and her organizing business. So this would probably happen typically if you are going and getting job supplies on behalf of your customers. So for the real estate investors, maybe you're fixing up a property and every time you go to Home Depot, you want to be reimbursed for those supplies directly from your investors. Or in the case of a cleaning company or my wife's organizing business, maybe you are going to get cleaning supplies or some shelves or some some tubs or whatever type of job supplies you're getting from Walmart, Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, Staples, Office Max. You're going to get supplies that will be directly just given to your customers and you're going to be reimbursed for those supplies. So I wanted to show you guys how to account for that in QuickBooks. QuickBooks makes it really easy to track your billable expenses. So I will show you how to do that. First of all, you need to have either plus or advanced. So unfortunately, QuickBooks Simple Start, QuickBooks Essentials subscriptions, you're not able to do this. So if this is something you all really want, if you really like this feature, then you're gonna have to upgrade. And the way you can find out if you have it, just go to your gear icon in the top right hand corner. And go to company settings and check out your expenses. And right here, make expenses and items billable. So if you have this option, you can go ahead and turn it on. You can mark it up. So if you want to charge 5% extra for whatever supplies you're getting from your, for your customers, and then you're going to track your billable expenses and items as income. You can either do a single account, you can do multiple accounts. And then whenever you create the invoices for your billable expenses, you can set a default term. So net 30, net 15. I'm not going to do that though. So I'm just showing you how to turn it on in your settings and you need to have plus or advanced or a QuickBooks desktop, but this is just for QuickBooks Online. So QuickBooks Online plus or advanced to do the billable expenses. Okay, save that. Now, there's two ways you can report expenses, either in your bank feed or with this handy dandy plus new button here in the top left-hand corner. I'm just gonna do that because this is just a fake QuickBooks account that I've set up for demonstration purposes only. So you just went to Walmart today and you bought, let's say you bought a shelf for your customer. You're going to install a shelf in your customer's basement. So we're going to go with Walmart, just like you would any, a normal expense. So Walmart and choose whatever checking account you used or credit card or cash, whatever your, your payment account is, uh, the date, obviously just like, just like you would do a normal expense, except the only difference is you're going to check billable right here, billable little question mark. The only thing you need to make sure you have a customer associated with it, obviously, because you're going to get reimbursed for this expense. So John Smith is the customer. So you own a business, you go to Walmart, you buy some supplies that you're going to give directly to your customer and you want to be reimbursed for the, for this expense. So you may create a billable expense. And then what's really nifty, what's really neat 
and QuickBooks makes it super easy to do this. You save and close it. And then you go to your sales, you go to your invoices. And right here, QuickBooks automatically creates an invoice for you. Well, they didn't create the invoice yet. You have to click that button. But if you open this up, okay, we'll just hit create invoice here. And then based on the expense that you created, QuickBooks automatically creates an invoice for you. So a pretty cool feature. And you can just email this, print it, however you deliver your invoices directly to your customer. And right there it is. It has the amount, has the customer, and then you can add the description. You can say whatever it was that you bought. It's kind of nice. It doesn't transfer the details directly from the expense onto the invoice. That way you can customize it however you want. You can talk about it charge them there and then you save that. And then if you go just to make sure everything is working correctly, go to your reports, you can check out your profit and loss for today. And you see here, Billable expenses, income, $154.87. Expenses, job supplies, $154.87. So three things I wanted to point out real quick. You can mark up your billable expenses. So if I go to Walmart, buy something for hundred bucks, I can mark it up 5%, 10%, just as like a convenience fee, just because you're, you're spending your time and getting that stuff for your customer. So that's how you can make a little bit extra money on your billable expenses. If you don't want to do that, you can sell it as just an added perk for them hiring you for your services. You know, Hey, I will, don't worry about that. I'll go and get all the supplies for you. That's kind of included in the whole package. So you can, you can actually receive payment for getting these expenses for them, or you can just kind of add it as a little benefit or a perk to your package. Or the third thing, which I would recommend doing regardless is use, a credit card, get a business credit card and take advantage of those rewards and those benefits and those credit card points because you're not making any money right now. You're getting paid and you're spending the exact same amount. So your net income is zero. Your tax liability is zero on this transaction. But if you spend enough money and if you use the right credit card, you can earn some serious points and some serious rewards without actually spending any of your own money. So that's kind of a cool perk of the billable expenses. You're technically spending money, but you're getting reimbursed for it right away. So you're not really losing any money, but you get all that, you know, 3% cash back, 5% cash back, all those, those miles, those free hotels, whatever credit cards you guys are using. So billable expenses, you need to have QuickBooks online plus or advanced to use the feature. Hopefully this is helpful if you guys are buying supplies for your customers and if you wanted an easy way to get reimbursed directly. Reach out if you guys have any questions, any concerns, if you guys want help with your bookkeeping, if you want help with your taxes, or if you want me to make a video specifically for stuff that you are struggling with in QuickBooks, I'd be happy to help. I appreciate you guys tuning in to my QuickBooks tutorials, my live videos. I know they're not the most exciting thing, but everyone's got to pay their taxes. Everyone's got to keep track of their profit and loss. So it's, it's a necessary evil and we are here to help if you guys are struggling. So thanks again. My name is Zach Pascarello. I'm a bookkeeper, certified QuickBooks pro advisor, and I hope y'all have a great weekend.